All right, here is the knife that uh, that gentleman won't be getting. <laughs> and he wanted paracord, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put these. I have just enough uh, walnut burl for a neck knife. And that's what it's gonna look like. That's gonna be nice. So. This will go in a Kydex sheath. And uh, <clears throat> Saturday I got my Kydex. So if you would like, uh, if you'd like this, it's 85. I get 85 for these now. And I'm at the beginning stages of this, just like those knives. Uh, Jay Wallace, mystery buyer, and George. I was going to work on sheaths this weekend, but so many things have come up. Actually, yesterday, I did absolutely nothing except mess with the ducks and put a pool up and build their uh, duck prison. <laughs> duck and chicken. Maybe eventually the chickens will go there, too. I don't know. So, uh, and now, since I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, build my uh, dust evacuation, my mini dust extractor. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down through the floor. I don't need a dryer vent. If this gets, uh, you know, cold air, I'll take the pipe off and just throw a rag over this where the air won't come up. But, you know, we don't have to deal with cold very often. So, uh, the reason I don't want to go through the wall is because out here is corrugated tin. And the ribs are like, you know, two or three inches apart. And there's no way to get in between a rib to make this waterproof. So uh, I just dump it straight out through the floor. And if it's a problem, you know, I'll, I don't think it'll be a problem. I can't imagine why. And this will allow me to screw this up against that there. So this is gonna work out. And I'm just gonna go from here straight down to that with, uh, with my hose. I think this will work out with the fewest amount of parts involved. I think it's gonna work fine. So I'm gonna do that right now. I got my... Uh, hole saw and my big drill I'm going to get and bring in here and get that done. All right, I'm going to cut the end off of this so I can run it up through the hole in my table and uh, <laughs> uh, splice a new plug on this well here's a clue as to whether this is going to work for very long or not I just saw this on the plug it didn't say it anywhere in the description or on the box it came in and this will be uh, processing this will be sucking both of them out of here carbon and metal dust <laughs> so we will see how long that holds up oh well if I come up with another method, uh, you know, I have a hole in the floor that I'll be able to run it out. Because I don't, I don't care about catching it. Uh, you know, it's just sawdust and metal, metal filings. It'll fall right down there on the ground. But anyway, let me, uh, let me get this plug cut off and get the hose attached to that and get it run up here. You know, it's not, uh, it's not a pretty thing. But it is absolutely 100% functional, and this is just exactly what I wanted. Uh, you know, I'll make some refinements over time. But uh, you can hear the suction. And uh, let's see, if I had some dust. I don't have any dust that I can... Anyway, we'll see. You know, uh, this is just... Uh, an experiment if it works great if it doesn't I'll come up with something else but uh, absolutely without a doubt there's plenty of suction here this is what happens to these out here with no air conditioner the humid yeah I had a phone call yeah the humidity gets so bad out here well any, not just out here everywhere here <laughs> 
that uh, it almost immediately rusts the steel that I've sanded. Well, Breezy, you're going to be a little happier now. Breathe a little easier. So today is Sunday, and uh, I had plans of actually shipping Jay Wallace, uh, George, and uh, Mystery Buyer's Knife but uh, uh, tomorrow, Monday, but I have not done anything in my knife shop uh, in a couple of days, except today. And today, I was going to work in my leather shop and make, make the sheaths, but it, I had this young friend come over who lives in an apartment and doesn't have tools. So uh, I let him use my stuff, and he uh, was here all morning. And when he left, that's when I did this here and a couple other things. I'm uh, rearranging my sandpaper again. This is the wood sandpaper. That is the metal sandpaper. And uh, I'm, I'm buying 2,500 and 3,000. And then these are just, you know, I have a lot of sandpaper left over that I don't, uh, you know, that I have out. And so when I run out of this, I'll have some. I think I'll just store it in there. Anyway, that's my story. Now I have a whole bunch of stuff I can take back to Home Depot because I just bought a bunch of parts trying to, you know, I, I that's usually what I do <laughs> is buy stuff I may need, might need, might not need and bring it all home and use what I need and then bring it back. I don't damage packages or anything like that, but it's too far away to just run back and forth to the hardware store if I uh, find I do need something. It's easier to buy stuff that I might need and take it back when it's convenient. <laughs> okay, that that's good enough for now. Uh, I'm probably going to secure the hose a little better, but uh, that's going to work great. Okay, tomorrow is Monday and I still have not got my truck out of the Ford dealer. And uh, God, I hope tomorrow, because even the, the car, the Honda dealer, where I traded the truck in, they're sending me texts, hey, when are you going to bring that truck by? And they know I, it's in the shop. I told them I had to put it in the shop and get the air conditioner fixed. That was part of the deal. Bring it to them with the air conditioner working. So anyway, I don't know where I left off earlier about uh, the guy whose knife I canceled. Uh, I don't want to talk a whole lot about it because I've only had this problem two times. He was the second person. Basically, um, here's what I want to say, and it's going to sound rude, but if I say this up front and there's no, you know, uh, 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 there's no, hey, you didn't tell me that. If you order a knife and I get all your information, as I progress... I will text you a pick. If I have a choice to make and I'd like to let you make that choice, like, you know, wood or uh, there's been a few times when somebody wanted a particular piece of wood and I found a really nice piece of wood that they thought they might like, so I'd send them a picture and offer it to them. Uh, that's why I ask for people's cell phone numbers when I fill out my build sheet. So I'll show you what my build sheet looks like. And this is the information that I ask for. And then if there's anything special we discuss, I write that down here. If I don't, I have terrible memory. If I don't, I forget everything we talked about. Jeez, how do I get so dirty? But anyway, most people don't bother me after I get the information and start making the knife. That's the end of it, you know? But a couple of people haven't. And, you know, I, I just like to make these knives at my leisure and not be rushed or have to answer questions you know a anyway the second guy wasn't a huge pain in the ass or nothing like that and who knows maybe I was a little bit hasty uh, you know I have a lot of knives to be made and I have three knives that I need to make sheets for I don't have time to stop and basically hold anybody's hand you know over these knives if you trust me to make you a knife, then I just assume you trust me to um, not bother me until I'm ready to ship it to you or ask you a question about it. You order a knife and you leave it in my hands and I will get you 
the best knife that my two hands and my machines are capable of making. And if that's not the way it goes, then, you know, there's lots of knife makers out there that would love to have your business. And I would be happy to steer you towards them. But I'm just not going to let this be a chore uh, or an unpleasant task. I love making knives and I want to make knives until I die. And I don't want to let anybody take the enjoyment from me making knives. So there. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. I can't wait to try this out. I don't know how long that little thing will last. Isn't that something? Nothing anywhere. None of the instructions. Not the box. Not the description on Amazon. Nothing said, you know, don't get dust in it and all that. You know, I kind of figured that it wouldn't last long with, with what I'm doing. But, you know, if I had to buy one a year, it'd be just fine. So we'll see. We'll see how long it lasts. It's not a big deal. I'm only into it like 30 bucks. If that, I might have been 25 Okay, I'm going to sweep this floor. I'm going to gather up the stuff that I need to bring back to Lowe's. Tomorrow, Monday, I probably won't be in the shop. So, Jay Wallace, you've already paid me for your knife. Thank you. Uh, this week, I will mail your knife to you. Mystery buyer, same thing. And George. This week, your, actually, your sheath is the easiest to make. Your knife is done. Uh, Jay Wallace, your knife is done. Mystery buyer, your knife is done. I don't know why I keep showing my hands on this. I'm, you know, I'm Italian. I use my hands. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> I've got, you know, all the, the truck buying and the other truck breaking down. And it's just doctor appointments. Everything has just taken days and days and days. And then... Yesterday, I just didn't want to come out here. I had the, the duck pond, and, you know, I sat around there in the fan, and uh, my wife and I built that cage for Bev's ducks, and just had a nice leisurely day yesterday. And then I intended to get some work done today, and then a friend came over. So, you know, that's just life, and uh, I just take one day at a time, not get in a hurry, just enjoy every minute I can of it, so... Boy, I tell you, seven minutes of me running my damn lips. I, I'm sorry. Okay. See you later. But wait, there's more. I'm kidding. <laughs>